everyone, it's Laura here, and many Laura, from Hertz Inclusive Theatre, and I've got a quite silly idea for you today if you wanted to take a creative break. I'm going to show you how to make your very own mini me marionette. Now some of you might know a marionette is a type of puppet that we control using strings like this. So they are very, very good at dancing. You just pull on those strings to get them to do some brilliant dance moves. So if you'd like to have a go at making your own today, there are a few things you're going to need. To make the body of your mini me, you're going to need a toilet roll tube, some paper and some glue. OK, so to begin with, the toilet roll tube is going to become the body of your mini me. And you'll see on mine, I decided to coordinate our outfits and decorate it accordingly. So feel free to decorate your tube. You can draw on it. You can stick paper on it if you prefer. You're then going to come on to your head. You can do what I did and choose a very silly photo of yourself to cut out and stick on. Or if you're feeling very artistic, you can draw a bit of a self-portrait as well. So once you've got your face, you're just going to stick it onto the top of the tube there, like so. And then it's time to add your arms and legs. These are really important if you want lots of movement in your marionette. And you're going to use some paper for this. So if you cut out some long strips of paper like this and then fold them backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, all the way along until you get this springy shape when you let go. So we fold it all the way down for your legs and for some arms as well, if you want to add some. You're then going to use your glue again to stick these inside the tube so that they hang down like so. So you're going to stick both of those on. And of course, the same with the arms. As I mentioned before, you can decorate all of this as much as you like to make it look beautiful. Fantastic that this is going to be the body. Of course, a marionette would not be complete without the strings. So for the next step, you're going to need some kind of string. You can use string, you can use twine, you can even use thread if you've got some. It might be a little bit fiddlier, but it works just as well. You're also going to need some tape for this step and something to use as your wooden cross shapes control your puppet. Now you can see here I use some skewers that I stuck together. You can also stick together pencils if you've got some to hand. They work just as well. Or if you want to take yourself out and look for some twigs as well, that would be wonderful. But whatever you've got at home that you can stick into this cross shape. Lovely. So this is the controls of your puppets and the strings are going to attach the two together. So the first string you're going to need to attach is the main string that holds up the head of the puppet. So if you could get some string and you're going to tape it to the inside of your tube. If you prefer, you can use a stapler for this step, but you're going to stick it inside there nice and firmly. Lovely. So this is going to hold your puppet up. So this piece of string is then going to tie to the middle of your cross shape. So can be a little bit fiddly here. And you might want to add some extra tape to the top to keep that string in place. But this is our main piece of string to keep our puppet upright. The next bits of string are going to be the ones attached to the legs to add the movement, the ones you pull to get the legs kicking around. So again, if you start with a piece of string and you're going to attach it first to the puppet. So for this one, we're going to tape it to the foot of the puppet. You might have decided to draw some shoes if you'd like to. So you're going to stick it to the shoe area here. Again, piece of tape, puppet's leg, and the two together. Okay, so you'll see I've now got the string attached to the leg there. This is the bit where you're going to need to make sure your string is the right length. If it's too short, your puppet's stuck with its legs in the air. So you want to attach it just right so the string is straight and the leg is hanging 
down bow and again tie it to the cross at the top on the end of one of the pencils or one of the sticks and then all you need to do is pull on the string each time you want the leg to dance it's a little bit long there isn't it like so you can then attach some string to the other foot as well so you can get them both to dance and if you're feeling particularly creative today and really want to challenge, you can also attach some to the ends of your hands as well. And when you pull the string, they will move as well. So that's the basics there. We make our body with the toilet roll tube and attach our face, arms and legs, and then attaching the strings to the bottom of the legs and arms if you want to, tying them to our wooden cross, and then one string attached to the center of our puppet as well, to keep it in place and then of course add all the decorations you like and before you know it you will have your very very own dancing mini me at home i really really hope you've enjoyed that if you give it a go do let us know and of course as always we would absolutely love to see some photos of them as well but for now take care everyone goodbye